Shalom, shalom, Akim, Wa'agwaf. Before I get started, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rechakadash, Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rechakadash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone who rule well. We taught me this truth. Enough respect and salutations to the fellow Akim, the house of David, the whole elect. This is your brother Yahweh Sab coming to you once again with another lesson. And, um, you know, this is concerning Esau, you know, the Edomites, man. All right, you proud Americans. Okay, we have heard the rumor, all right, pursuing the, uh, to the book of Obadiah, all right? And what's being declared here is the truth. Staying in power is not an option for you anymore. Again, staying in power is not an option for you anymore. You have ran your course, all right, and your tenure is up. Okay, Babylon will be judged with an horrific judgment. We're going to get into these scriptures. Lord willingness will be edifying and comforting. Since that's been said, let's go ahead and go to Second Edges, chapter six. We're going to start at verse seven, and it reads: Then answered I and said, What shall be the pardon asunder of the times, or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth? Now, when you go back to the book of Genesis, chapter 25, understanding that two nations was in Rebekah's womb, one of those nations that came out first, okay, was uh, the progenitor of the Edomites, which is Esau. The second came out, which was Jacob, our forefather, all right? So the question was, all right, when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth. Verse 8, And he said unto me, From Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the hill of Esau. Why? For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. And the world that we're in, all right, in an ultimate sense, uh, is, is over. Okay, all right, this hard shift, this hard transition to a digital-based society, all right, will come to not the say of the Lord. They're not going to be able to crown their enterprise a success. They're not going to be able to enjoy their houses forever, all right? Again, they have ran their course, and the tenure is up. Let's get this scripture real quick in the book of Ecclesiastes 7. All right, and this is what we hope for. As a matter of fact, <laughs> yeah, let's go to 7. <clears throat> so uh, Ecclesiastes 7 and verse 8. Better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. And the patient in spirit is better than the proud in spirit. Right there you have two dynamics. You have the patient and you have the proud. The patient are the Israelites on the highways and hedges, serving the Lord with all their heart, mind. And their body, making their bodies a living sacrifice, proclaiming the truth, okay, faithful to the word, according to the gospel, the law, and the testimony of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, we will speak according to this, okay. Those are the two dynamics, and what we're, what what the scripture saying here is better is the end of this thing that we speak of. You see that Babylon the Great, aka America, right? We know that it will be judged with a horrific judgment, and the end is going to come with a big boom, man. You see that? As the scripture named it, uh, according to doom. Let's get that. Uh, the book of Second Address, chapter 7. Let's scroll down. Let's jump down to verse 43. It reads, But the day of doom shall be the end of this time. Better is the end of a thing. We're just going to go out with a bang. All right? According to the scriptures, according to Revelation chapter 18, the Lord is going to return with the host, the host of, host of, of, of angels, man. Innumerable amount of angels are uh, uh, tearing shit up, kicking Esau, Edom in the ass, man. And, uh, and of course, these heathen nations. Right? It says, and the beginning of immortality. The scripture told us in 2nd Edges 6 and 9, Esau is the end. 
and Jacob is the beginning. Beginning of what? The scripture tells you right here, the beginning of immortality for to come, wherein corruption is past. This is why we haste in the Lord, the coming of the Lord and Savior, Yahweh Baha Shem Yahweh Shah. We want immortality. We want crowns. We want to rule under righteousness. We're tired of this wicked place, this wicked kingdom. Let's continue. It says intemperance is at an end. Infidelity is cut off. Righteousness is grown and truth is sprung up. And this is what being declared. What's being declared is the truth. The true nation of Israel, which uh, uh, the Lord has revealed unto us, name, his name, the Lord has revealed unto us, all right, through the spirit, uh, the 12 tribes that are scattered, the Israelites that are scattered abroad, all right? We are in a very privileged position to know these secrets, man, for the Lord to even uh, bestow his secrets upon his servants, the saints, Okay? So that, that being unfaithful to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, it says in the scriptures, I ever knee shall bow when he return. And it will be so. All that unfaithfulness, the scripture also tell you that you're going to die in your unfaithfulness, man. Okay? That shit is going to be cut out, cut off. Rightfully so. Righteousness has grown. All right? And it's grown by the word, man. It's grown by the truth of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. You see there? This is the day that's coming. The day of what? Doom. Man. And it's at this time, at the end of this damn wicked ass society, this wicked rulership of Esau Edom and his constituents. You see there? What's, what, the truth is out here and it's not returning, man. Let's go there. Let's go to the book of Isaiah chapter 55. And it tells us in verse 10, okay? For as the rain cometh down, and the snow from heaven, and returneth not hither, but watereth the earth, and maketh it bring forth and bud, that it may give seed to the soil, and bread to the either. So, all right, shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth, according to the law and the testimony, man. This is what we speak of. It shall not return unto me void. I mean, it's dropping the rain don't go back up. The snow don't go back up to where it came, all right? If you have any, any uh, idea about gravity, <laughs> you know this, this word is being planted, okay? And it's being planted by the, one, by, by the ones that's on that good ground. It says, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent. And the Lord has sent this word. You had men gravitate to the word. You had men fall out of the word they was gravitated to. That's neither here nor there. That don't make the word of the most high with none effect, as it says in Romans 3 and 3. Okay? The word is doing what the Lord said it's going to do, man. Okay? And the Lord was declaring these things from the beginning. You understand? Let's get that. Uh, the book of Isaiah. Chapter 50, uh, so like chapter 46, um, and verse 10. Let's read this. It says what? Declaring. <laughs> this is a declaration, man. <laughs> uh, I, I, from above. Declaring the end from the beginning. Better is the end of this thing, man. This, this vile and unpleasant thing. Okay? Such as the nation of Esau, Edom. Declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times, the things that are not yet done. What, what are the things that was declared in ancient times? Hey, read the book of Obadiah. Read the book of Malachi. Okay? We've heard the rumor from the Lord, man. We understand that we need to prophesy of these things. Okay, to come. Because the Lord has revealed us to uh, his secrets, man. All right? Uh, he, he revealed to us the things that belong to us. Okay, let's start from the top again. It says, declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times, the things that are not yet done, saying, my counsel shall stand 
This is the stability that you need in these wicked and troubling times that we're about to embark on. We need stability. Isaiah uh, 33 tells you about that. All right, knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of thy times. These are the times that we need these things, the, that we need to think upon and meditate upon the scriptures thereof, man. All right? Hey, we shall make our way prosperous, as the scriptures say in uh, Joshua chapter 1. It says, my counsel shall stand, and I will do all my pleasure. Now, when you look at this, you got to believe a king of kings and the Lord of lords said this thing, man. All right? And it's spoken through the book of Isaiah 46. Who, who would say such a thing that I would do all my pleasure, except if it's a king, except if it's a god, a power, an omnipotent one? Okay? So, no way in hell, all right, you should come up against this in no form or fashion. But if you do so, all right, good to you. Good to you. you you just fulfilling the lot, man. you just fulfilling prophecy. Continuing on, verse 11, calling a ravenous bird from the east. The man that executeth my counsel from a far country, yeah, I have spoken it. I will also bring it to pass. When things, something, when you prophesy, when you say before, and it actually come to pass, all right, such as this new thing that we speak of, as in the MOTB, the C hip, the micro beast, okay, we saying it because the Lord spoke it. The Spirit of the Lord has revealed it to us. That what that thing they say in Revelation 13, all right, will come to pass, all right? And the Lord will bring it to pass, as he says so. He says, I have proposed it. I will also do it. And he is going to do it. Who, who's going to make Yahweh Hashem Yahweh a liar, man? Who? What, what makes you think that this is not going to take place or make a uh, 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 you know, uh, make his word, you know, be void, man. Nothing. We just went over the scriptures, man. Okay? What's being declared is the truth. Stand in power is not an option for these people that are in power, man. Babylon will be judged. All right? According to Obadiah, according to Malachi, starting with the chief nation, Edom, Esau, which is, we know as well as the so-called white man. All right? Let's go to the book of Jeremiah. Okay? Because this is why we have to prophesy, man. All right? We set our face against Mount Sil, man, prophesying to it. Okay? Uh, the book of Jeremiah, uh, chapter 25. Let's jump down to verse 30. And it reads... Therefore, prophesy thou against them all these words. When you eat the whole roll, as, as that's been going around, all right, uh, and, and you digest it and you have a full understanding, you should be able to teach. You should be able to prophesy. You should be able to preach, all right? As the Lord said, some, some teachers, apostles, all right, some preachers, some prophets, okay? You have your different, uh, uh, um, uh, different, uh, uh, I, I slipped my mind. I already got a brain freeze at, at this time. Uh, your, 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 as a positions, if that's the word I want to use, for the lack of better words. All right? Oh, matter of fact, your lot. Okay? Therefore, say it again, uh, Jeremiah 25 and 30. Therefore, prophesy thou against them all these words, and say unto them, The Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, which are the true names of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son through the Holy Spirit. All right? Shall roar from on high. And the Lord said he's coming with the host. He's going to uh, uh, have a shout of the archangel. Okay. It says, and utter his voice from his holy habitation. He shall um, mightily roar upon his habitation. He shall give a shout as, the, as they that tread the grapes against all the inhabitants of the earth. Pretty much death. All right, destruction. This is what the Lord is coming to do. He's coming to plead, which goes into judging. He's coming to judge us, of course, the nation of Israel, which if you are an allotted of the uh, elect, all right, you are slotted to be one of the two-thirds. Okay? So, uh, the scripture tells us that the, uh, 
uh, the slain of the Lord shall be many. All right? And, and, and judgment must begin at the house of the Most High. So we know we're going we to catch it. But what about those that don't believe? What about those that has, has, has been adverse, has been controversial <laughs> towards Israel, towards the people? Okay? Let's continue. Verse 31. It says, A noise shall come even to the ends of the earth. For the Lord hath a controversy with the nations. He will plead with all flesh. He will give them that are wicked to the sword, saith the Lord. Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, man. Let's get this word, plead. Let's see if it says, uh, Judge, Strong's H81. All right, uh, 98, yep. Okay, Shapat. All right, the valley, uh, the valley of Jehoshaphat. Okay, to judge. To vindicate, to punish, to act as a lawgiver or judge, governor of the most high man. So the Lord is coming to judge this place. All right? Quickly, fast. And this is why the scripture tells you in 2nd Andrew 7 that the day of doom, <laughs> the day of doom, you know? And remember that word doom. We're going to go ahead and get it. All right? Got it queued up already. Middle English, doom from old English. A law. Statute, decree, administration of justice, judgment, equity, righteousness. And this is where righteousness lie within the scriptures, man. And those of you take hold on this, all right, you do well. Okay? So going back, Jeremiah 25, 31. And it says, uh, I'm going to start from the top. A noise shall come even to the ends of the earth. For the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, shall have the controversy with the nations. He will plead, judge with all flesh. Each and every last one of you creeping, crawling, walking things out there, man. He's about to judge you. The Lord is coming with judgment. And the fierceness of his anger. Fury, he has built up wrath. And rightfully so. It says, he will give them that are wicked to the sword, saith the Lord. And the sword... Uh, the ultimate sword, which is the ultimate plague, are those nuclear missiles. And when they begin to be shot off, and when they begin to hit their destination, it's going to be some noises. It's going to be a lot of lot of noise, man. All right? It's not, you ain't going to have time to go to Best Buy and get some earphones, some AirPods, some earbuds. No, man. All right? Only the elect in that day would be sealed from destruction, man. Will be covered. All right? And this is the womb of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, man. All right? We know that very well, man, because we fear the Lord. And it starts with his name. Let's end it off in Job 24 and verse 24. And it says, They are exalted for a little while, but are gone and brought low. They are taken out of the way as all other. As all other way. You got kingdoms out there. If you read the book of Daniel, chapter 2, you understand about the statute, man. All right, about that dream, okay? We understand the head of gold, uh, the silver of, 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 of the arms, okay? The, uh, the, the, the gird of bronze, okay? Down to the iron, down to the uh, uh, clay mixed with iron, man. We understand we at that end. This is why Jacob held the, head of, uh, held the hill of Esau, man. Better is the end of this age, this rulership, man, okay? Than the beginning of this rulership, man. All right? Again, they, they didn't have their tenure. It says they are taken out of the way as all of them. The Greeks fell. The Romans fell. Right? The, the uh, Egyptians. <laughs> you know? Okay, the Persians, Medes, the Babylonians. Okay? Now it's time for Babylon the Great to be judged. You see that? And it says... <laughs> They are taken out of the way as all other and cut off as the tops of the ears of corn. Verse 25, the point. And if it be not so, that's like it. And if it be not so now, who will make me a liar and make my speech nothing worth? No one has the power to do so. You have this, this, this guy 
trying to mix mix machine and man, going to transhumanism, saying speaking on things he ought not, that he know nothing of. All right, he he just might eat a missile, man, and he's gonna be reserved for slavery as well. Okay, Lord willing, this is edifying and comforting, man. And what's being declared is the truth. On to the next one, Shalom.